Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm happy to have you here. Have you ever thought, is Ryobi sold in any other country in the world? Well, I'm here to talk about that because they are. And the tools are not all the same. It's kind of shocking. Before we get into the video, take a trip right down below this, hit that subscribe button. I have a lot of good videos coming up in the future and you're gonna wanna see them. All right, well, let's get into this video. Let's start off on the Ryobi USA uh, webpage. And with this right off the bat, <clears throat> you can see their new rebranding. It's, it's a little different. They're getting away from the red. They have the black on yellowish green. And, and the, the advertising, the marketing on this page is pretty impressive, I have to say. They highlight the two major platforms that we have, which is the uh, 50 plus tools for the 40 volt uh, heavier duty tools that you use for lawn care, gardening, things like that. And then you have your 175 plus tools on the one plus 18 volt platform, which now they're really pushing. They're only going to be making brushless tools. So with the 175 plus tools, you know that is a huge platform. I think it may be close or is the largest single platform in the world. Uh, and that's pretty impressive. You have a plethora of different tools that you can use from uh, on the 18 plus platform. You have from yard tools to uh, like actual sliding miter saws now where you can double up from 18 to 36 if you put two batteries in. Uh, and then you go to the, uh, you know, just attachments for the expandables. You have radios. You have just a, just a myriad of tools that are out there that you can use, and it's pretty impressive. But something I'm going to focus in on today, I think that's really going to tell a good story between what the United States does and the rest of the world, is this. Let's look at the impact drivers the specific impact driver that I'm going to look at here is called the OnePlus HP, not to be confused with the OnePlus HP Compact. The Compact is a less powerful version of the tool, and it's smaller. This is the bigger version that's supposed to be the powerhouse of the brand. It's probably the most versatile tool that's within the Ryobi arsenal, so that's what we're going to take a look at today first on within the country of the United States. And then as an example, we're actually gonna take a look at Australia. Australia has a very strong following of the brand over there. I see a lot of people on the forums and on the fan pages always talking about it and we're comparing tools. So today we're gonna to take a look at that page, which we can actually navigate over to now. And this is their actual page and right off the bat, you can tell this is about homeowners too. Very solid marketing here. Uh, and let's scroll down and you can see right here, 18 one plus and 36 volts. So the 36 volt brand, uh, it's different than what we have here at the 40 volt brand. And then it is the same as the 18 one plus platform. Uh, and let's just check out more on the 18 volt platform. The cool thing about this is, is that as a worldwide platform, truly, that's what the 18 one volt is. You can take these tools, ship them to the United States, and it will work the same as it does in Australia. The Hertz aren't different, nothing's different. The same battery works. So Rayabee really has a super, super strong following, a super strong marketing stance on that. And but something we have to take a look at, and if we look at their platform here, okay, so let's take a stroll down their inventory to see kind of what kind of tools they have. So this is a quick snapshot into their arsenal of tools. Uh, they have a scarifier, which I believe is just a dethatcher for lawns. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen that in the United States. Um, this is unique. So this looks like it goes on a telescoping pole and it's electrical supply. So that's not something we have in the United States. Um, you know, we have a lot of these tools here. All right, <laughs> check this out. They have a lot of five amp hour 
batteries in Australia. And this is a special edition battery. It's gold. I don't know why I like it so much, but I would probably buy that if they had them in the United States. Special edition stuff, tools, it all makes sense. All right, let's keep strolling. All right, so this is what I want to talk about today mainly, the main event, and this is the brushless impact driver tool only. So as we look at this, this is the Australian version. Let's just take a quick peek at this, and uh, I'm going to point out a couple different things on here. They do have the tri-beams. Uh, they do have the dual ball bearing chuck um, for the release. And something that I'm noticing right off the bat, uh, it it is a good-looking tool. It's a sharp-looking tool. Uh, they utilize a lot of the dark grays over top of the green. They have the metallic casing, uh, which is uh, aluminum. And then if you look at the trigger, I, I've never seen this before, but it's not just plastic. It actually has a rubber overmold on the trigger for comfort. I don't know why that's a big deal to me, but it's the details that count sometimes. So uh, looking down, it does have a bit holder in the bottom. And then this particular impact, it actually has a four modes. And this has been out for a while. It's not a new tool over there. Uh, this tool is that the four modes are completely different than the four modes that we're getting. It has mode one, two, and three, which is slower, uh, less torque, medium torque, medium speed, high speed, high torque, and then their fourth on there is actually called the deck board setting. So what it does is it starts out slow and then it speeds up really quick. So you're able to gain control over the four inch decking or three inch decking screw that you're using on your deck board. I thought that was very interesting that that is what the fourth mode is in Australia for this particular tool. Um, let's take a quick look at the specifications of this tool. Okay, so uh, the voltage is 18 volt. We know that the uh, speeds on the first setting is 650 rotations per minute. The mid is 1700 uh, rotations per minute. And the highest speed is 3000 rotations per minute. That's pretty fast. Uh, the impact rate, and this is impacts per minute, is 3,900, so it's zero. It variate, uh, variates between the different speeds. The weight is 1.1 kg, and this is pretty cool. So they go by Newton meters here, by torque settings, and I'm gonna show you what that translates to here in just a minute in the um, for inch pounds. So it's 50 Newton meters, 100 Newton meters, and then 270 Newton meters. Uh, if we take a quick look at the conversion to that, uh, the highest setting is 2,389 inch pounds per minute. That's really impressive. Okay, so if we go back to the tool, this is $199. The exchange rate, I believe, is 1.3. So for every United States dollar, it's a dollar and 30 cents in Australia. So if we look at the conversion, if we wanted to buy the tool only in the United States, this is going to cost us $153.57. That's, that's really expensive for what we pay for our tools over here. Uh, and uh, yeah, I just want to point that out. So tools are more expensive in Australia for sure. And uh, just to let you all know, Australia and like, let's say Sweden, Lithuania, United Kingdom, all of their tools pretty much are the same over there. And they're priced right around the same range too. In the United States, it's different. We have a different platform. We have different engineering, apparently. Or it's beta testing that it comes to us because our market's larger. I'm not sure what the market shares are for the particular brands. And I don't know what the incomes were for the return of sales um, either. That's something I wasn't able to find. So I'm sorry I can't show those uh, specifics to you. But as I alluded to, this now I want to take a look at 
the United States version of the impact. And I'm not going to use the P238. That is my favorite tool, personal favorite tool. Uh, but we're going to go to the latest and greatest offering of Ryobi USA. And the model number is PBL. ID02B Bravo, or B as in Bravo. Right now, it's got one review at 5.0. Go figure. <laughs> it, it hasn't hit stores yet. I have pre-ordered it, just haven't got it yet. Um, let's let's take a look down through the amenities of this, and let's look at the specifications. Uh, so this does have four modes, and the light is actually on the base of the tool. So I think we already have a couple strikes against us there. Uh, it does not look as sharp as the Australian version of this tool. I can tell you that I would way rather have the Australian version of the tool just based on uh, looks alone. The trigger doesn't have that rubber over molding, which I speak so highly of. That's all right. You know, just a luxury item, I suppose. Uh, the tri-beam's not there, very annoying, and we do not have the tool holder here, and this doesn't come with the belt clip. Come on, Ryobi. All right, the price on this is $99, so you can see it is $50 less. And I don't know if they're trying to economize on this to make it cheaper or not, but I can say this. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm very... I think we're very blessed in the United States that our tools don't cost as much. So thank you. Thank you for that. And that means we lose a tool holder, but we still get the performance. You know, it balances itself out. I can appreciate that. All right, let's look at the specifications here. <clears throat> so impacts per minute is 4,000. And if you remember on the Australian version, the specifications here are 3,900. So uh, the U.S. version is 100 impacts per minute higher. And if we look at the rotations per minute on the different speeds, so this is a four speed. First speed is low, uh, low torque, mid, mid torque for the second speed. Third is the highest and the uh, most powerful torque setting. But in this particular version of the tool, the fourth setting is actually a self-tapper setting, kind of mimicking what... Uh, Milwaukee's doing to where it drills the hole and as soon as it hits the threads of a self-tapping uh, screw, it slows down so it doesn't strip that hole out. Very happy to have that. Looking forward to when I get this tool because I have most certainly stripped out a bunch of holes when I'm on uh, too high of a setting or we need to get the speed up to create the hole and then you just don't let the trigger off fast enough. So looking forward to that. Uh, let's just compare the RPMs on lowest setting is 850, uh, mid is 2000, and the RPMs for uh, the highest is 2900. Let's go back. So it's 650, 1700, and 3000. It's so it's a bit higher in in every stage on the United States version of this tool. Now. We look at the torque, and our torque here is 2,200 inch-pounds. And uh, that's really important because I showed you the conversion here. Their inch-pounds are 2,389. So technically, the Australian version of this tool is more powerful. Do I think it's better? No, I think they both have their own niches, and that is the pocket that they stay in. However... All right, so let's recap. Who is better? <laughs> uh, if, if I have to be honest with you, looking at the overall packages and the offerings between the rest of the world and the United States, I have to say that the United States definitely has more offerings to the customer base. And maybe that's just the interest within the tools themselves. However, and the market is stronger here. But let's... Uh, but I think that the world should be able to have the same type of platform, but there is a marketing strategy in order to see what works within that customer base. Uh, you have 175 tools in the United States. You have 100 for the 18 volts for the rest of the world. Let's, you know, play scenarios just for a second. 
what if we had both drills and we just put them head to head? We have the USA strongest version and we have the Australian strongest version. Hmm. Wouldn't that be cool to do? Stick around for future videos because you will see that with me. I was able to actually get a hold of the Australian version of this tool and the new version of the American tool. I'm going to throw them head to head, so you really need to stick around to future videos to see how these really do compare to each other. I hope that this has given you a quick glimpse into the differences between the United States and what the world offers. And I hope this sparks up some conversations, things that we can further uh, you know, talk about in the future and debate a little bit and just spike up some interest there. I hope you liked the video. Please remember to like and subscribe. I really enjoy having you all here and making these videos. Thanks everyone and we'll see you in the next video. Bye now.